goodness, friends, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia living. I was just taking Boris for a walk. I had him put him back in the house. I'm going to go get him in a sec. But there was some awful screeching going on. It's coming from my compost. I peeked in. You wait and see what it is. Hello, sweethearts. I got three little raccoons. Hello, babies. I'm going to let you out in just a second. Oh, darlings. All right, I should have brought out my tripod, but I'm going to tip this over. And I don't know if they're big enough to be on their own or their mama's here. It's okay, you guys. I'm just going to let you out. Woo! <laughs> Come on, darlings. Oh, you're all dirty. I'd take you in the house and give you a bath if I could. Come on. Oh, sweetheart. Oh, what good little boys and girls. Where's your mama? Maybe she's up in a tree. Are you guys to be, are you able to get out on your own? I'm sorry you're all stinky. One is still in the compost because I'm here. I'm going to walk away. But I love you. I'd offer you something to eat, but you probably got your gullet full from eating compost. But you got in here last night. You silly children. I'll snap a couple pictures. Oh, there's a babies. Hi, baby. I'll walk away so you guys can walk away. I didn't want my big ferocious dog to see you because he'd probably go bananas and want to play with you. <sighs> I'm going. I'm going. I'll wait. I'll go in the house. Let me turn you around. Ooh, I'll go in the house for about 10 minutes and then I'll come back out with Boris and go for a walk. He did have a pee, but you know. Poor babies. I want to bring out food for them, but I know they probably ate a bunch of stuff anyways. But they were screeching and hollering. Oh, they're going up the tree. Oh, we can't. They're going up that tree. Maybe their mommy's up there. probably so tired. Morning, Anne. There's three little raccoons crawling up that tree right there. Three little raccoons. They're right in that tree. This tree you're walk just about to walk by. Yeah, they're in our compost. I know. <laughs> I don't know if their mom's up there, but there was three little ones. Yeah, well, they're all filthy now, being in the compost. But. All right, you guys have a good day. I had to put Boris back in the house because he would go bananas if I let them out. No. Yeah. Great. All uh, right. Oh, oh, look at that. Yes, a deer ran out in front of me the other day. Yeah. One just ran out there to go up there. Anyways, I'll take Boris now once they're gone up off the ground. All right, we're almost back home. We've been going for about a half hour. Boris, don't start sniffing now. Oh, let's see if those raccoons are still up in the tree. I haven't seen Randall. I hope they don't scare Randall away. <clears throat> but I'm sure they got their tummies full because we had compost in there. Got to give them time to sniff. Violet must be with Mazaya because she didn't even... I didn't see her. I checked in Lucia Mays' room and Boris was... On high alert once I, my foot touched the 
bedroom floor. Okay, Boris. I need my coffee, don't you know? <sighs> yes, well, you know, we had a hard time. We had a time with our compost in the past. Like, it always being knocked over and strewn all over the place. I figured it was raccoons, because raccoons... Adult raccoons are kind of big and strong. I mean, they're not huge, but they're just like a ball of muscle. Uh, little babies couldn't knock that over. But, um, and I used to have that bowling ball, Ernie McCracken, and that big 2x4 hacksaw Jim Duggan sitting on top of my compost to keep the lid shut. <clears throat> but I haven't had to do that. I think, like, last year I don't think I even had to do that. You're not going over in the compost. It's still laying down. Um, we might have to start. I, mean, I certainly don't mind feeding animals. I know you shouldn't really feed animals, but when raccoons get into a compost, I'd rather them not because you never know what they're going to eat. But little ones, I don't want them to get stuck. What if I was gone away a couple days and it's sweltering hot and they're stuck in a green stinky compost that's dangerous unless their mummy would come along and push it over but maybe they couldn't I don't know they're probably up in that tree just resting and if Randall was here I'd bring out some food but uh, he's not so I'm not going to not now anyways I will after give those raccoons a break because they hardly they were probably panicking all night who knows what time they got in there all right okay I'm back in I heated up a Tim Hortons coffee my husband got me. Um, put TV for dogs on, it's just Boris and I down here. And oh, if I don't do anything else today, at least I saved three lives. So I'm feeling pretty good about myself. How about that? Um, actually, it's Saturday morning. It's around eight o'clock now. Um, and yeah, the kids don't have camp. We don't have to do anything. It is supposed to rain today, even though it doesn't look like it. Um, it'll be nice. I have all the kids home and whatever. For food, I do have leftover breakfast sausages and I do have leftover pork chops from the night before. Hmm, I don't know what I'm going to do. Either doctor that up somehow or what. I haven't decided yet. But I really just rolled out of bed and saved three lives. So what do you expect? I'm a superhero. Oh, anyways, I'm going to have my coffee <clears throat> I just turned that fan on light, this fan here, <clears throat> just to have a nice cool breeze, well, cooler breeze, and yeah, I'll check back in a bit. What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> I just went out to feed Randall because he was outside con. Uh, oh, he was just there, there was a few of them there. They are out there, but I peeked up that tree where the little raccoons went, and I seen one of them looking down at me, so they're still out there. They're probably just so tired, they're going to rest there. I think they're more nocturnal animals, probably move around more at night time, but Randall's getting his food out there now, and I'm sure the other ones are up in the tree too, but there was one just hanging on the branch looking down at me. Cute little thing. I know, I'm just showing them that we're putting different animal sounds on to get Boris's head to tilt. Maze wanted to see. I told you, if we're all looking at him, he's not going to do it. He's camera shy. Right, Violet? I'm sure, I'm sure he was. saying to them all right guys this is not an ending from another day I just wanted to let you know I was up here it's 12 21 now um, I edited a video and have it uploading now so I'll actually get one up tonight which is good um, I just had a couple eggs and those breakfast sausages that I made yesterday <clears throat> Misha did too and I'm just having one of those carbonated water sweetened with stevia black cherry so 
I'm about to go downstairs because Misha wants to play Roblox for a little bit. I need to rotate some laundry and put another load in. I did bring out a couple of baskets of dry laundry I've done over the past couple days. I just, I need to get it folded up. I just need to. All right, friends, I'm just coming out. I'm going down back to help my husband with another log, but I just want to see if the, oh, Randall, you don't have to go away. See if that baby is still here. Like, I don't know if he'll stay up there until tonight. Are any of you still here, sweet angels? Oh, maybe they went away. The other one was like right up on the edge there, watching me feed Randall. Let's come around this side. Oh, it's hard to tell. They could be up in a little nooks and crannies up there. I don't know. Oh, there's a guy going up that big hill. See, there's nice little, like, hollowed out spots they could just go in. Maybe they, they're like the raccoons. You remember that cartoon, the raccoons? I don't see them but they were here for a while this morning so hopefully their mommy came and found them they weren't like brand new babies but you could certainly tell that they were young and maybe they're up in one of the other trees the compost still laying down now <sighs> all right Ooh. All right, guys, it is 4.32. I haven't checked back in a bit. I've been outside helping my husband clean up the side of the shop outside. He was putting stuff on the trailer to bring down, like our old stove and all that stuff, our old garbage bin, um, another one of those giant logs and stuff. But there is a couple of pork chops left, and there is a few sausages left, not many, I think four. But I'm going to get these in the oven. They're Canadian pizzas. It looks like pepperoni and mushroom and bacon. Anyways, I'm going to get these going and they'll have the option of whatever the heck they want, but at least there'll be something, something made. All right, they're all sliced and diced. I'll just put some on the plate and then they can have their supper. It's 510. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. Well, it's there. Boris is out there. I'm the only one downstairs besides these two. Um, the kids are all upstairs, but they had uh, they had supper. What did they have? Did I show you? Oh, the pizza. Yeah, <laughs> my mind's all muddled. My husband made pork belly too. Like he bought some from Costco the other day and did that all up, so they all had some of that. And now he's outside finishing the lawn. And we're, we got a lot cleared up, like, to haul away. I've been reading the book today. It's, I didn't realize it's a chunker. It's, like, 558 pages. But I'm determined to get to 300 pages today, and I'm at 2.99. So, Boris, you're not going outside. Dad's mowing the lawn. You're not going out. He's there at the de deck. But he just barks when he goes by and stuff. Anyways, um, it's a cult one. Um, cult book. <laughs> Quite dramatic, but you know, just reading a book, just reading a book. But anyways, <coughs> yeah. So far, it's been a productive day in regards to that. I do have laundry baskets out there that are not folded. I'll get to it though. I'll get to it tomorrow. I'll get to it. I don't feel like it tonight. And tomorrow, um, all the kids will have baths and showers and all that jazz. So I have TV for dogs on now. I have my feet up on this thing to keep my feet elevated. Um, it helps my ankles and my joints and stuff. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to check in. I haven't done a whole lot. I think I published that video. I'll check before I go to bed, but I did have it uploading and publish to go. And then I'll do one 
one is all loaded into my program to edit. But I'm not going up there to do that now. But at least it'll all be ready for tomorrow when I sit down to edit. That'll make a difference. What do you think, Boris? Huh? You like that one? You do? Oh, do ya? What do you think, Violet? She doesn't really care, but Boris really likes it. Anyways, I'm just going to read some more. I read to my goal, so I've read like half of this book. And I'll read a little bit more till the kids get ready to go to bed. And then I'll go to bed. And I'll have a shower tomorrow. I just had a shower yesterday. I could have a shower today, but I haven't gotten all that dirty. But I will have a shower tomorrow. I'm, I'm really feeling kind of lazy now, honestly. I'm, I had some pork belly. I didn't have the pizza, but I had pork belly. And now I feel... <sighs> yeah, ready to just crawl crawl under my blanket. But I'll wait till at least nine o'clock. Oh, good morning, friends. It's the next day. Well, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. It's about eight o'clock in the morning. Well, it bore so right there. Francis is out there. I just heated up a coffee, and everybody else is in bed. Uh, I probably will do a squisher. I don't think I filmed very much yesterday. But it's Sunday right now. And I read more of that book last night, and I almost finished it, but I stopped when my husband came to bed. I went up to bed and finished. I have, like, less than 100 pages left. So, I, uh, <laughs> I'll finish that with my coffee. I put TV for dogs on. Um, I need to get, I want to give Maze a bath when he gets up, well, after his breakfast. And I want to have a shower and, oh, all that sort of stuff. Um. Yeah, it's just going to be a Sunday day. It looks like it must have rained last night because we've got big puddles in our driveway. But I don't think it's supposed to rain today. And it's nice and sunny out. There was no raccoons in our compost this morning. But there's not much left in our compost, so they probably weren't attracted to it. But now that raccoons know that it's there, I'm sure they'll be back. Oh, I don't mind. I just don't want them to get stuck and I don't want them to make a big mess of my compost. So we'll just have to wait and see. I'll keep you posted on that front. All right, guys, I haven't checked back in a bit. I just had a shower. Maze is getting in the tub now. It's probably around 11 o'clock, maybe. I'm going to sit down and edit a video. I was just in here putting an ending on the video I'm going to edit. And yeah, we'll go on with our day. All right, I just have these guys tied out with some fresh water. I'm going to go down in the basement and turn the water on. My husband's going to use this pressure washer to wash some things today. If I can figure out which thing I'm supposed to turn downstairs. Everybody's scared of the basement but me. <laughs> Not really scared, but for heaven's sakes, it's just an old basement. Anybody that's down here that you can't see, they're loving anyways. They love that we're here. Right, everybody? Oh, let me turn you around. Oh, it's cobwebs. All right, so this is one of the rooms down here. There's my husband's sexy legs through that window. You can't see because of the sun. We've got wood to throw down. But there's some wood piled. And look at all the cobwebs. All the beauties. You can see old dead spiders and stuff. Oh, okay. might already be on he said okay that's all right I forgive you he said sorry <laughs> <Going down. laughs> Oof! one went right in my freaking face oh. all right this is an old basement yeah she's an oldie that's the thing we put in the window plus the thing on top and we have these old pallets we put wood on but they need to be replaced some of them and the old chimney yeah it's a dirt floor down here but i love it it's nice and comfy cozy this is a good place where i keep my preserves because it's the same temperature no matter if it's winter or summer it's just like a regulated temperature for the most part 
and ooh, the water pumps on. Just come up here, and we're good to go. All right. It is nice out today. It's only the high of 22, I think. It feels almost like turning into fall, which I know this is just a trick because it's going to be super hot one of these days. But it's nice today. And has the hose right there. They were over here running in it, but come here, Boris. They don't realize where it's coming from. <laughs> That's all right. They're having fun. I uh, finished that book this morning. I was going to pick up another book I had started earlier in the month, and then Evie and Medea came, and I just put it down. Nothing against the book. I really liked it, but it's a coming-of-age story, and it takes... I don't breeze through those like I breeze through other books, because, I don't know, I just fall right into that world, and it's really well done. It's called Malignant Summer, so I was only on, like, page 100, and then I put it down, but I'm going to pick it back up today and try to read it. And, uh, because I really like it. It's really, really good so far. It's based in the 90s, mid-90s. And I graduated in 96, so it's, like, right around that time. And a lot of references and stuff. And, yeah, I meant to bring it out. But for now, I'm just going to sit out here and watch my sexy husband. Oh, and my husband's going to do his car first today. But this is the book I was talking about. Isn't that a fantastic cover for a horror novel? Um... It's definitely horror, and it's not junior, this is like adult horror. Uh, but look at that. I just love it by Tim Mayer. I've never read a book by him, but it's kind of a big book, but I'm going to tackle it today, maybe tomorrow, and it's a perfect time of year to read it. My husband's blasting jams. It's Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks. All right, his car's all soapy. Randall's here. I went and threw some stuff over there. I don't know if he'll come while we're sitting out here, but I made it to part two, the summer of sick, July 5th, 1998 to August 2nd, 1998. So, yeah, we'll continue on. Randall just got here. He's con, so I'm not sure if he'll come down. He might. I told my husband I think he should put Daisy Dukes on. He has shorts on, but they're down to his knees, for goodness sakes. At least give me a bit of a show. I wouldn't ask that with just anybody, but you know. Misha's over there helping hose off the car. Oh, she's squirting the shop right now, but. I told Randall to come down. Nobody's going to bother him. He's just across the road. Heaven's sakes. Alright, this is our pressure washer, Husqvarna. We're getting it set up. We're going to wash some coolers, that mat that was in the kitchen that the kids got slime on. Some garbage cans. Yeah, you guys can't be sprayed with this one. Only the hose. garbage cans that we have just to give them a good spray in and that mat that I had in the kitchen and coolers and once they're all washed I'll let them dry in the sun a bit and then I can go put them over on the back of the shop because we 
cleared a whole bunch of that out yesterday, like hardcore. And yeah, it's good. This is the first time us using this one. We used to have an old one. It wasn't as good as this one. But yeah, it's given everything a good spray down. I'm making sure these guys stay over here too because although it's not at its strongest, um, if it was, I mean, it can play skin, so. Yeah, they just need to stay over here and out of harm's way. We're done the garbage things and all that, but I asked him to do this. Remember, we still haven't painted it gray yet, but you can do it and spray it off. And maybe, maybe this week we'll paint it gray. The step part, that's just primer on there. So I'm just wanted to show you the before. To Randy, he just has it on Bluetooth, it's rotating through songs. But he uh, washed his car. But I got him a bunch of different like car cleaners when he first got his this car is like one year old, anyways. He's never used them, but he's using them now, like the wax and all that stuff. And yeah, we're just listening to Jam sitting in the sun. I'm actually sitting in the one strip of shade that's over here in the driveway, and uh, yeah give them another bucket of water and yeah it's just a beautiful day he's doing the windows now he got this at some car place but it smells like Windex I love the smell of Windex I know I probably shouldn't be sniffing it but it smells good all right look where we are no it's not soccer practice but my husband taking the kids here to play soccer I wanted a coffee. I don't usually have coffee this late in the day. It's like six o'clock, but I'm about to fall flat on my face tired and I don't got a GD chair to sit in. So, oh Lord, I will sit my arse right on the grass. I can tell you that much. Which net are you guys playing at? I guess we're going way over there. There's some other kids here at the playground. I won't point it at it, but over at the playground area. What do they think they're doing going the way to crap over here? Is that a ball? Oh. Looks like a fuzzy ball. I'm sitting in the shade, I can tell you. Just let me get over in the shade. I can't go as fast as you guys. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> go, 
Reese, go! Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! <laughs> All right, let me pull up a piece of carpet, a piece of lawn. Oh, put my coffee down. Oh. Oh, <laughs> that one hit him right in the face. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> the kids have an advantage just for being younger and can run faster for longer. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, good job, Mace. <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> go, Marco. <laughs> running circles around him. It's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'm done my coffee. They had a little half time. We all just sat down here and chit chatted a bit. Now they're gonna. <laughs> what do I can't do? Three, two, one. <laughs> You can't start moving until I say one. Three, two, one. <laughs> Hilarious. Good job, Mish. Give it a big old kick. Good job. That was a good one. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> like Mar uh, Mace could scoot right under his legs. Go, Mace! Go, go! Go! Go, go, go! <laughs> Wait, Misha's coming. Let's leave it there for her. <laughs> Good job! Uh-oh. Is. Good one, Mish. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Remember, Mish. Go get a maze. Oh. Husband teaching teaching them the three man weave like in basketball, only with soccer. My husband was a basketball player in school. Okay, Mish, over to Maze, and run over behind Maze, Maze to Dad, and then Dad to the goal. <laughs> Kick to dad, Mace. Then. Good job. All right, we're at the Shell gas station. I don't usually come here, but um, we're going to go through the car wash. I know my husband washed the car today, but he wants to go through it to, I don't know, I don't know, to get the other spots or something. I don't know. So we got gas. We're going here. We need to stop to Superstore to get some milk. This is just in the John. Oh, I'm just looking on the bulletin board. They have radio bingo here in town. I've never done it. They've had it here for years, ever since I can remember. Every Monday, 6 p.m., radio bingo. CJLS and Digby, it's 93.5. Just like, maybe I should try that sometime. The jackpot is $11,000. The loony jar is $20,000. That would be amazing. I might have to try that someday.
in yellow? Our showers weren't like this, huh? Just cleaning now. Oh. There's the shampoo. like a big hair dryer. Yeah. I'm just coming in here to get milk. I'm just taking the long way around. The kids are in the car with my husband. I stopped at McDonald's and got Happy Meals and stuff for the big kids when they get home. So I'm just going to do a quick loop and then stop and get milk on my way out. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Oh, anything? Anything? But I'll call it flower. Gad. Mm. Potatoes, potatoes, bananas. I'm surprised there's that much stuff there. <sighs> quickly, quickly, Tracy, quickly. Bagels. Little muffins, cupcakes. I shouldn't, I shouldn't. Oh, I just want to quickly check the chicken tender stuff. Really quick. I don't have any bags with me, but... Rotisserie chickens, no, nothing marked down, okay. Keep hustling, keep hustling. I don't know what time Superstore closes on a Sunday. Maybe 8 o'clock? I don't know. But it doesn't seem too busy. <sighs> Potatoes are $7.99 on sale. Nope. It's late in the day to see 50% off stuff. <sighs> nope. Not seeing nothing. The milk's down here. Way down there at the far corner. And we'll go to the Island of Misfit stuff, Hodgepodge Island. And then uh, we'll be out. Oh gosh. Let's see. Milk, milk, milica, milica. They don't have the big, like, gallon jug. Um, I was just going to see those box things. They're all gone. The pizza pocket things. Just, I want to get a couple things real quick. Um, that's quick for the house. Because, yeah. All right. Coffee. Basket coffee filter. I don't know milk yogurt flavor the makeup and stuff hair dye
Oh, I just wanted to show you. They only had um, like two liter things of milk, so I just got one. But I did buy two of these hard floor, hardwood floor cleaner, regular four fifty four. But I got two for the price of one. So awesome! Ooh, Ooh looks scary, but it's Tracy from another day. I'm finally getting my computer to work. I just put it up. Uh, a community post because my computer was freezing up and so far I've edited this video up until now I'm gonna put this ending on it and hopefully it finish, finishes the process and I can get it up forces there um, no guarantees but if it doesn't get up tonight I should be able to get it up tomorrow but fingers crossed it gets up tonight we'll see but anyways yeah just on that drive home after we're doing soccer um, the kids were just in the back. I didn't even get half of what they were doing. Just making those silly fart noises and they were laughing. I didn't get all that, but I just thought it was funny. It was cute. I thought I'd share that. And yeah, we got a lot done outside that day and we got to use our new, well, it's not new. We've had it for a year. We just never used it. That pressure washer. And um, yeah, it was fun to watch my husband play with the kids and doing soccer and stuff. And uh, those are precious memories for the kids, for sure. But anyways, now I'm going to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, excuse you. Forrest just burped. Anyways, I haven't seen those baby raccoons anymore. Um, they're probably around, but I haven't, I haven't seen them yet. Who knows? They might be back, but that sure was cute to see them. And I hope that their mommy came back for them. I'm sure she did. Probably. I would say. But at least they weren't brand new babies. And they obviously will stick together. So... Okay, with that, I'm going to say have a good night. Or have a good morning. And I will... See you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.